Uh, yeah, apparently his units can attack ours, despite the Religious Alliance. And then I'm waiting to see if there's little visual indicators. Okay. Religious combat, not only can they attack us, but it actually showed us the religious change in these cities. That makes me think it really is only... Oh, you can renew it, but no. We'll just say okay and hopefully got the XP from it. Um, that does tell me... I, to me, it feels like every religious mechanic is still active despite our alliance, except for the pressure from other cities. Uh, we're going to go reform or heartbeat of steam. We don't actually have very many trade routes. I think I'm going to go hard rate, uh, heartbeat of steam. The problem is, like, the, the, it's, well, it's the problem that's been the same all game, right? We have to spend so much effort on the religious game that um, we don't get to really be competent in any other way. Uh, which is highly unfortunate. We're going to try to get the extra faith from level 3 on those guys. There's a reason why the religious victory is probably the most difficult one, in my opinion, on deity. We got some bits in. Thank you very much, Roger. Spy over here. Oh, you did get a promotion. All right, let's just YOLO the text deal. You win religiously when um, most everyone is converted to you. Get our religion view over here. We have to have, yeah, we have to have a dominant religion everywhere. It doesn't have to have every city, but every every nation. Um, trade routes to me. I'm not going to go crazy with the votes, but we'll put that in there. Um, government type. Uh, if I can get theocracy, I'm going to put a bunch of points into that. Actually, um, I'll vote for myself. Let me pull back on one of those because it gets expensive. We'll throw some extras in there. We might get lucky, and World Fair is definitely going to run. So we'll do this. Trade routes to Robert Drugus gives more money. We did get the Theocracy gets the wild card slot. And we got the diplomatic victory points, which is nice. The theory. World's Fair gives us more diplo power if we can. We gotta generate great people points per turn. That's a little annoying because here's the thing. We've prioritized building holy sites, right? Um, which do generate great profit points. Wow, Robert the Bruce is zero military. Um, they do generate great profit points. There are no great profits available, but hopefully. We still generate the points for the purpose of the World's Fair. Otherwise, that's going to be kind of annoying. Um, who might be, be interested in speeding too? Actually, just beeline steel at this point. I think we're going to be pleased with that. We've got seven more turns until nationalism. We can get a builder here in five turns. So let's do that. Same thing here. Builder there. Extra wildcard policy is handy. Um, oh, which means I can change my thing now, but I'm not gonna. Um, we do have a Dark Age policy we can run. No. No. I don't think we run any of those. I think we probably go and reintroduce uh, Scripture. Sorry, did I say did I say Robert Bruce? It's Freddy that has zero. He's the one with zero. I think I just misspoke the person. It is a missionary by pants uh, or an apostle. Yes, there is. Thank you. So this is why we need the ability to have units wake up if they spot an enemy religion unit around. So we can just put things on alert mode. And not have to obsessively check again and again and again. But luckily you guys are here to help me with that. Well, our capital really needs some builder love. Has been a long time since we've done any work there. We're here to remind you once it's too late. Does 100% combat XP work on religious units? Um, 
No idea. No. We're not going to do the war right now. I'm going to try to avoid having to generate, like, military units. Oh, I set up professional army, didn't I? I mean, there was no rush to do it. Um, but, yeah. But before we can change our, our things again, we're going to want to make sure lock in some of these upgrades. We don't have the swordman one. I guess, is it just literally upgrading this to a swordman? Is that literally all we can upgrade right now? We chair it. Yeah. Womp womp. Okay. And we got a couple. It's actually fine. Oh, we've got a stupa here. Let's definitely faith by the stupa. And six turns, seven turns to the builder. So we're going to go something else. I will go and get our academy and everything uh, built up. In fact, I'll, I might, because we can do the armory soon. It's going to take a while. I'll barracks. Let me actually switch out of gunpowder. Mines. There. Um, you're standing this tile. It's in that thing where I can't really see the units. Um, so there's more here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the safe. I'm going to back up to these places. We will go and heal up, but also what we want to do is mostly we're just letting them come into an area where we can hit them with multiple Inquisitors a little bit more easily. Um, move here. Some nice farming triangles being built over there. Let's get the tobacco. I do have more. We don't have stupas. Um, do I want more apostles right now? Or just... I think I want more mercs. Maybe, tell you what. I'm going to get one more apostle over here. And then we're going to get a bunch of uh, missionaries. I said mercs. I meant missionaries. forward yet. Oh, is it, this might be the same turn. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll chop this because it's... Oh, it's not on a hill. Oh, yes, it is. It's one of those hills that doesn't look like a hill. There you go. So, he's completed his pilgrim. Nice. This thing is... Stable on... Is it seriously stable? On Buddhism over here. I don't have the religious alliance with you. I have a research alliance. How are you not getting Buddhist pressure? Really? No, the alliance isn't with this guy. It's with this guy. I know, they're both green. Because this is Twitch, and this is Twitch. So I would have really expected this, but maybe it's a little too far away, and there's just enough pop over here. Oh, it's the Cree religion, right? It's not the alliance with Australia; it's the alliance with the Cree. So once the alliance with the Cree goes, this thing's gonna flip. Actually, you know what? I'm not in a rush to flip that. That's going to be perfectly okay. Um, Bergen is slowly going. We need to uh, we need to flip uh, Nidoros. We need to flip these guys over here. And there were some Catholic units around. They may have been consumed. There's a Guru here. I think we might be able to religious battle with them. So yeah, I'm not worried about these apostles flipping my religion, really. Um, I'm mostly concerned about them. Like, I just want to keep their numbers down and not have them around for religious combat.
So let's actually, let's make our way over and keep pressurizing in this direction. And we'll be ready to fight um, the Scottish religious units. Now see, don't do that move. Like, I gotta put a unit in here to occupy this spot so that you just attack directly without doing that. It must be calculated must be calculated that this is a slightly cheaper move to make, but it's really annoying. Oh, hello. Okay, well, the missionary can't fight, so just, just head down in this vague direction. Um, I mean, later on we can do things with Rainforest, right? Lumber mills, hang on, am I just thinking of, am I just thinking of that, that nation that can build the lumber mills on rainforests? And so we weren't chopping them? No, once you get mercantilism, you can build on rainforest, which is a change that was not something that used to exist in the game. So we might want to leave that. Okay, these units may have retreated over here. You don't have anything to do. Wasn't that brutal? Yeah, no, I think it's just they, they they I think there's some changes. All right, Mr. Apostle over here. Let's move you up to here and give you None of these promotions are terribly excited about. We'll take Martyr. Move up over here, construct that, construct that. I'm mostly just like prioritizing based on proximity rather than what it's giving us. Oh, hello. Um, I mean, we're not gonna wanna attack, but if they wanna attack me across the river or at least when I'm sitting on the hill and then I can retreat later on, it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna sit there. Oh. I thought he was going to go and try to convert Hungry Hordo. Uh, aid request is done. That's fine. Um, we're going to go Armory. Yes to the Shrine. I'm going to ignore you because we, we have defensive pressure. Mostly I'm concerned with getting to the front to do some spreads and things. And religious combat is going to be handy. I really like the better lenses or the more lenses mod. Otherwise, like, I would... <sighs> at, this, at this point in the game without automated workers and having to go squint mode for placement... Are you still here? So you're pretty damaged. Um... There we go. Yeah, we know about the Catholic Apostle. We got us our eye on him. I'm not, I'm not terribly worried. Only one religious unit, if he does flip a city, it's going to flip back pretty quickly. I'm moving an Inquisitor up here. But my Apostles, I feel, are, are better directed somewhere else. Since the travel times are actually pretty sizable. We might be going to Perth. Ah, you bastard. Killed one of my Inquisitors. So I'm going to have to rebuild theater square um that works for me you have no walls but i'm mostly okay with that yeah he 
He's just leaving. up here and you go this way um i guess you were stopped by the zone of control leading us to break one unit by, per tile so yeah religious warfare over here i'm much more interested in because that'll actually apply pressure in ways that have some meaning Okay, I'm going to purchase um, another build rope here with Liang before we switch out of serfdom. I'm going to leave this for now. We've got a builder coming over here, so you can come this way. Yeah, I think you were coming this way. You're going to hook up that fish, sure. Hopefully we don't u lose another unit over here. No, he's running away. Okay. Um, dam actually sits on a tile. It does give us more housing, and then we can upgrade it to a hydroelectric dam later on. There's not much flooding to worry about over here. It might still be worthwhile. The other thing that might be nice is, you know, actually getting a campus going. Or harbor for trade routes. Actually, let's get a little of this going on. There, rest until healed. You're gonna sit over here and just wait patiently. Builder over here. I think I'm gonna beeline you to the north, actually. Those cities need some loving. All right. We do have an apostle over here. I wanna make sure, I don't wanna move my solo apostle in on this. I'm actually gonna pull back slightly. Because what I want to make sure to do is... I want to make sure to have, like, the numbers so that we can actually kill something. Other... Like, we just damage them, then they run away to heal. That's no good. We're really far away from our own front line for healing purposes. Can we heal in opposing territory on their holy sites if they've converted to our religion? I think the answer is no. be convenient, but I don't think that's a thing. Oh, there's the other apostle. Um, and then there's you as well. Cancel this. All right. And then this fella. Yeah, keep moving sort of vaguely down here. Does medic work with religious units? I thought it was with military units. So he might be moving back here. Oh, the thing is, we might just lose a military game. Okay. We've got an apostle over there. There was a guru or something over here, but... I'm just going to try to cluster up. Um, how worried about getting attacked by this guy? Just the one's not so bad. I'll stand here. move forward. That's going to be fine. Human nature. 
Okay, uh, I can drop Professional Army. Um, yeah, that doesn't really matter. We are building um, some encampment buildings somewhere. It might be the only thing we care about right now. Or retainers. Actually, we'll run retainers. That makes more sense. We'll drop serfdom is the idea. I'm going to run an inspiration. Gurus are essential for offensive religious combat. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point, actually. We'll get a few going. Uh, we want mercantilism so we can build uh, our lumber mills on um, rainforests. And then after that, I'm not sure if there's anything we're rushing towards. I think we're going to start opening up the opportunity to have some fisheries in places. Which means I should move Liang now to maybe Panthera. I mean, maybe I should be, you know, ramping up for warfare and things, but the there was just a, just a massive opportunity cost to develop all the religious stuff. So I kind of feel like that's not really in the cards. Don't click on that. Click on here. Thank you. Okay. Where'd that apostle go? Well, there's a guru over there. I don't, um, I know the gurus can't start combat. Presumably I can still attack them. I don't know if it flips anything. It might just be hanging out over here, but I'm not sure. Well, let's still just... Mostly we're just looking to cluster our units together. Just leave him here. Finally, promotion. Ace driver for escapes is always going to be nice. Can't approve these tiles yet. I guess we can do a farm over here for mega food. Defeating gores will create pressure. Okay, good. Yeah, I just I haven't done a lot of religious games in general, let alone freaking trying it on deity. I mean we have done religious wins, and I think we've won religious games on deity, but it was a long time ago. Right, so this is just the missionary. I will actually spread religion, I think, in Bergen, since the conversion rate is going so slowly. Um, but it will convert. Maybe I'll go and send it to Nandaros after all. I'm just going to let you hang up back here for a sec. Yeah, it's funny that they're, they are just sitting here. I guess I could take a little attack, or we could send more units over here, too. I don't... I'm actually surprised that the Barbarians never decided to attack. And yeah, I know we've got the whole religious warfare, like, mechanics that exist as well. Um, okay, hold on. I think the priority is, is to slam into the Apostle here. That's good stuff right there. In which case, I should have attacked with this guy first. I didn't realize it would go so easily. Because then I could have sent someone to attack the, um, the guru instead. Ever tell you the story of Guru Lahima? Let go your earthly attachments and embrace the void. 
Um, can plant coast hills? Yeah. Um, we get another brewer over here. And then 